Good evening, everyone. We begin with new information about yesterday's fire in Cheektowaga. The body of 62-year-old Barry Fumey was found after his home burned. Family members were at the home for a Labor Day picnic. News 4's Dave Graber is in Cheektowaga, where police are still trying to figure out what happened. In addition to releasing the name of the man who died in this fire on Monday afternoon, Cheektowaga police also confirming to News 4 they've been to this house before for some mental health issues of the victim. However, it's not clear at this point if those issues had anything to do with yesterday's deadly fire. 62-year-old Brian Fume was killed when he was unable to escape this fire on Monday afternoon. The home burned for hours and required six local companies to get it under control. Investigators say it appears the fire started in an upstairs bedroom and quickly spread throughout the back of the home. Cheektowaga Assistant Chief Jim Spire told News 4 that neighbors said there appeared to be some mental health issues with Barry Fume. I know that uh, some of the neighbors had said that, you know, that there were some um, problems with Barry as far as some mental issues. Uh, we can confirm that we have had uh, a couple of run-ins or a couple of incidences with some mental issues with the victim here. Our investigators will send out uh, uh, remnants of the fire for uh, inspection, uh, lab work. They'll look at it and see if there's any kind of uh, accelerants involved in the fire. They'll look at issues with electrical problems. Um, anything that, you know, typically a fire investigation involves. Barry's 93-year-old father was able to make it out alive, thankfully, but officials say his home is a complete loss. Meanwhile, he was here just a couple of hours ago, gathering some belongings from what he could and also being consoled by neighbors. Reporting in the town of Cheektowaga, Dave Graber, News 4 at 530.